Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, I'm going to take you through a quick exercise in the spirit of the element of spirit. And essentially we're going to go through how to perform a controlled rage fit. So I know there's some of you that experience intense amounts of anger and just overall it's anger itself. And when we feel these types of emotions, I notice that people like to bottle it in or they breathe it out and it still gets stored. So this is a practice that I've learned uh, from the Light Beings community that allows you to truly feel your anger in a controlled way and not cause harm to anything or anyone. Um, and you would do this and then you would come back to your breath. So you would do what I'm about to show you and then once it's done you sit down close your eyes and you bring your attention and focus back to your breath now the way the reason why you would do this is simply because imagine you're cultivating all this pressure inside your body of, of all the anger and all the irritation maybe there's times of the week that you're easily irritated and it's because you're not acknowledging the angry side of yourself um, another way that you can acknowledge it is to look in front of a mirror and look when you look at yourself you say to yourself hello angry David I apologize that I haven't been paying attention to you I see you I'm going to allow myself to allow to feel this in this moment and I would do something similar to what I'm about to show you right now um, again this is for demonstration purposes um, because I want to give you insight on certain practices that I like to utilize when I am in intense emotions because there's times that I still feel anger it's a normal emotion to feel and eventually you won't have to feel it anymore but in the meantime learn to process these particular emotions in a controlled way to not cause harm to a person or thing so what I like to do I get a foam bat sounds silly but I'm gonna explain how this functions so I'm attempting to think about something that I'm angry about lately hang on because I haven't really been angry lately <laughs> hmm. all right I'm just gonna actually fake this one but I'm gonna give you an insight of what it would look like okay so you get the foam back and you start bringing up all the emotions and all of the um, times where you feel the anger begin to surface and feel your breath start to change. Ah! And I really want you to feel it. Let your ego come out for a moment. Let it play for a moment. Once you've let it play and you're out of breath and you're out of whatever it is that wants to, to be released, come back to your breath. Sit down, close the eyes. Take three grounding breaths, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And last deep inhale, you're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Deep inhale in. Hold the breath. Slowly exhale out the mouth. And you can do a number of things from here. You keep the eyes closed, place your hands on your chest, on your heart. Thank you, David, for allowing you to feel this anger that was, that was inside of you. Thank you, Angry David, for surfacing, for creating an experience for me to pay attention to you. I apologize that it's taken this long to see you, but I acknowledge you in this moment. Thank you, frustrated David. Thank you, irritated David.
and then you just open the eyes and then you start your day or, or you do whatever it is that you were going to do that day but that's just an example of how you can utilize uh, a controlled rage fit another way to use a controlled rage fit is get a pillow and just scream in the pillow but really let yourself for a moment be in the ego be there be like fuck fuck i'm angry i'm pissed be there you're going to learn how to master these emotions you're going to learn how to not allow these emotions to to take a hold of you and how do you do that you practice them it's like as if you're in an acting class you're practicing every emotion so that you can be one with those emotions and then you can pull yourself out just as easily. You don't have to stay in these emotions. They're all, it's always a choice to be in the emotion itself. But we forget that because we're attached to the story, we're attached to the outcome, we're attached to the expectation of how we want things to be. So I wanted to share that brief practice with you. Um, if you feel that this particular tool has assisted you in any way, please comment down below. And I thank you all for staying tuned to my channel. And I appreciate every single one of you because these tools are gifts to all of you to support you on your journey of exploration of our emotions. So thank you.